What do you do with old ballpoint pens when they stop writing? I hope you don't throw the whole thing away. By all means, get rid of the ink tube, but keep the outer casing to turn it into a whistle. Put your thumb over the end, blow a stream of air across the top, and you form a whistle. Better still, if you can find a cylinder, a rod of some sort, whether it's steel or wood, doesn't matter, or plastic, if it just fits inside that tube, you can make a whistle that has several notes. I'm using a drill bit here. So I'll start with it there and... And I can get a number of notes with that. Also, by moving it as I blow, I can produce a changing note. Listen to this. And it turns it into a sort of a swanny whistle. A whistle that has a varying pitch. Keep that in mind as we go to the bird cage. What am I talking about? Well, I have two birds in a cage. Mm, they have real feathers. Terribly real, though, do they? I'll put my hand underneath the cage, and before long, the red one's turning its head, and... It's now whistling, singing a tune. It stops, and then... The yellow one starts. How is this happening? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's have a look underneath the cage, shall we? We'll take the cage frame off, first of all. And then the brass skirt, and lo and behold, we find all sorts of interesting things in this ancient device. To begin with, we find there's a clockwork motor, which you can wind up with the key underneath. That little trigger that I touched off sets that white drum rotating, and that in turn pumps bellows. So underneath, this little device is doing what I was doing, blowing a stream of air into a swanny whistle, which was just like my pen. It's a little brass tube here, and if you watch that end, you can see the little rod going in and out, varying the pitch. Underneath the white drum, there are some little cog wheels around here, and they are triggering off levers, which in turn decide which bird will turn its head and open its beak. It's really the one tune that's playing from the swanny whistle, but you see a beak moving, and you think it's that bird singing. Well, one great thing about this sort of bird cage is the birds didn't use up any bird seed whatsoever and you never had to clean out the cage.